Hey everyone, Jeremy from thecustomgeek.com here, and I have an FTDI adapter that I made. Um, it basically works as the same as the other ones, only has two very small things I want to show you. So, I have other FTDI adapters. Uh, this one's from SparkFun, um, and it has, this is a 5 volt, and if I want to change it to 3, 3 volt, um, I'll try to zoom in here a little bit. Uh, I cut this little trace in between the center pad and the 5 volt, and then I soldered the 3, 3 pad and the center pad, and that way I, I change the voltage. So, and uh, I don't have one, uh, Adafruit has one that has even more flexibility where you can change the, the VCC as well as the, uh, the logic levels and then you can change the DTR pin to an RTS pin. So, um, this particular one here, uh, I just put a jumper on so you can barely easily change from 3.3 to 5. I'm starting to work with more 3.3 stuff and then uh, to skip logic level shifters and all that, you just operate everything at 3.3 volts and then you can go back to 5. And then uh, the other little tiny thing is a power LED, which sounds silly, but I have a lot of USB cables flying around my desk, and it's just nice to know that they're plugged in and it has power and, and everything else. And so um, this works pretty much the same as uh, as any other FTDI. Uh, it works like a charm. Over here, I throw some, throw some different software in it here, and uh, it works just the same. So it works very, very well, uh, and the fact that you can have multiple ones and you know you have a five and a three three but if you have doing two three three projects which I have a lot of open projects right now you can just easily switch just to three three and then um and there's that so I know I mentioned this on this post about the the one inch square goodness board here. So anyway I just thought I'd show you that and the board files are up there so snag them if you want.